All right, guys. Among and dong. Among to my Filipino people. How are you guys doing out there? Okay, so this is going to be a quick, quick, quick video because I was having a discussion with a guy, an older guy at work. When is the perfect time to go to the Philippines? Should you go to the Philippines if you're an older guy? Um, if you're about to rot, retire, should you go to the Philippines? And <clears throat> some people have, have this fear about the Philippines because they have this thing in their mind that the Philippines is nothing but jungle, which is far, far from the truth, okay? I don't know why it's in people's mind like that. Um, well, actually, I do know why. Because when I was growing up and I learned about the Philippines, I never knew anything about about the um, how the Philippines was developed. All I heard was how people are living in um, living in in. Bahai, Boko, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. The little, you guys know what I'm talking about. The um, bamboo houses and, and things of that nature. Now that's kind of what I was presented with when I was little. That's far from the truth, okay? Philippines is well, well, well advanced. Now as far as their internet service, the internet service may be a little choppy in certain places. Let me put the AC on up here. So you do have to worry about that. AC and um, cell phone service can be choppy at some times, at some point while you're over there. But anyway, besides that, Philippines, there's areas that's well developed. Look, and some of the areas look way better than your own city, okay? Um, I'm in the Midwest, so, you know, over here, our downtown area looks like I mean, it's nothing compared to Makati, BGC, um, and those places, okay? Um, in those areas, there's like high-rise buildings, condominiums, and, you know, um, the condos are nice. They're small. That's the only thing I have a problem with is a lot of the size of the condos in the Philippines are very small. And a lot of the builders, the building may look really nice, but then when you get inside, a lot of the layout is very similar to the next builder's layout. Um, and it's getting expensive to buy a condo, like really expensive, depending on where you're at over there. Now, if you're about to retire, guys, let me tell you this. If you're going, if you're thinking about retiring, you don't know where to go, what to do. For one, you need to travel and go somewhere. Second, some of you guys are sitting at home and you know and you're about to retire. Some of you almost got 30 years on your job or you're getting close to it. Or you soon a couple more years you'll have 30 and then you can kind of leave your job, retire from work, and then uh, collect Social Security. And some of you guys' plan is to collect Social Security early. At, what is it, 62 is early. It's early, then um, 70 is, I think, the max. Right now, I think you can go beyond that. But guys, think about this. Why would you want to let the government hold your money even longer just so you can get more money? Because they, they're really dangling that in your face that, oh, you can get more money if you wait longer, why would you wait until you're 70 years old? And think about this, guys. Why would you wait until you're 70 years old to collect your money from Social Security when the average lifespan of most men is like in the 80s? Why would you do that? And, and also think about, is it going to be hard for you to walk around? When you're like 70 or 80, you got to think about these things, okay? You really have to think about these things. Now, guys, check this out. If you do an early retirement, say you collect, I don't know, $2,000 in Social Security a month, 
Do you think you can live on $2,000 around here in the United States? Honestly, after you pay your rent, half of that's pretty much gone, if not all of it. You have nothing left, right? You can go to the Philippines. Listen to me. You can go to the Philippines, find you a nice, decent apartment, just enough for you, four or $500 a month. Sometimes you can find a house to rent out for that much. And then you have the rest of money to yourself, okay? If you got a pension from your job, there's that's even more money. So it all depends on how you look at it, how what you're gonna do when you get over there. Let me turn this off. I gotta turn this off. Whose car is that? I don't know. But it all depends on what you're gonna do, what you're trying to do when you move over there, okay? When you're trying to retire. For me, I I'm trying to take my retirement as early as possible, okay? So I will get my I'm already on my job. I've been on my job 24 years, okay? Today, today I've been on my work 24 years. So, um, another what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, another six years, five years. I can leave my work in 30 years, right? And take my, my 401k. I can take that and then I can wait till I turn um, 62. Then I can get my social security, okay? And early retirement. I am not going to wait and let the government keep my money any longer because their their goal is to make as money as possible make as much money as possible off of you. Hold your money as long as possible while they're already in debt. The government's in debt and give you your money so you only have a little bit, a little time left on this planet to spend it. And then if you don't spend it all, and you don't set things up right, then where does the money go? Who gets the money if you don't set things up right? So you only have a little time left for your lifetime to go and do things. You need to go and do it early as possible. If, you, if you're if barely making it here, you're paying rent. Think about this. Some, some of you guys are already going through this. Say you already got your Social Security. You already got your... um your pension. Some of you guys still got a pension, which is great. And you got your 401k and say where you live and you just barely scraping across. Okay. And you got your Medicaid, your healthcare. You just barely making it. Guys, you can go to the Philippines or some of these other countries. And I'm not going to say you're going to live like a king, but you will, you can live twice, if not three times is better than what you will live here, okay? A lot nicer. Philippines is the most friendliest country that I know. The Filipino people are the most friendliest, supportive, supportive people I've ever met, okay? Um, and some of you guys are looking for a woman. You can go over there and find, there's women everywhere. Pretty, the Filipino women are just gorgeous, okay? That's why I'm married to one. The Filipino women are so gorgeous and they're so friendly and they don't, you know, and if they want to go out with you, they will, they will let you know. Like if you ask them out and they say, okay, then you go out. It's nothing like you're trying to date here in the United States and they, and some women here has the, their nose turned up or here in the United States, you kind of guys are starting to be like afraid to talk to women because of certain things. But you go to the Philippines the women are more open to you. Everyone is more open because it's friendly. Everyone is friendly. Um, <clears throat> you just got to stay out of certain areas, okay? <clears throat> now, if you're going over to like a walking street where all these women are there doing their doing their thing and walking and and you know making money, <laughs> um, you know you understand what I'm saying. Me personally, I will stay out those areas. You can find a, a decent woman, really good woman in like the mall the library the grocery store things of that nature you can go jogging somewhere and you can meet someone um just public places you know um 
And the one thing that you will notice when you, if you're older, you will notice when you go older, you're going to see guys, uh, older guys with young women, just probably 10 years younger than them, 20 years younger. Some guys, some guys in their 60s may be with a girl that's um, 20, 21. And over there, it's perfectly fine. Okay. Over there is perfectly, perfectly fine. Now, if you're here in the United States and you're with somebody that's 20, 21, people still here, even though it's okay by law, it's okay to date someone or be with someone that's in their 20s. People here will look at you like you're crazy. People here will look at you like, um, like you're a pedophile or something. But the law is the law. If it's okay with the girl, it's okay with the guy. And people will still turn up their nose here in the United States if they see you with a person that's in their 20s and you're 60 or 70. They will have a fit, but you can't do nothing. Now, if you go beyond, like, if you go, like, 18 and under, then you're going to have a problem, okay? <laughs> so, don't do that. But in the Philippines, it's very common to see older guys with girls in their 20s and 30s and 40s and some even some guys even go and look for a lady that's in there around their age bracket um and it's perfectly normal it's perfectly okay 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 did it restart okay something happened i don't know but guys i highly if i had if i had to give someone some advice i highly recommend you look at your finance situation and at least visit the Philippines, get an Airbnb, travel to a popular destination um, and explore. OK, and you will find out that there's more to offer out there. Now, there's there's some pros and cons about going to the Philippines. Some things are not really convenient. Some things are not um, as quick. Uh, turnaround is like if you need certain things done, it's not as quick. So it, you need to be patient. If you don't have the patience, then you might as well just stay here in the United States, okay, and deal with this stuff. But um, overall, I think I think every man should at least travel to the Philippines just to see what it's about. Um, and some of you guys, now I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, okay? I know I'm not like a Casanova looking guy or Rico Suave looking guy, Um I don't know. I can't put a number on how cute I am or how ugly I am. Okay. Um, but there are some guys that they, they feel like they're not high up on a pedestal or high up as far as looks to some women and some of them are, um, and some, some guys just feel like, and they know that like, they're not just a great, good looking guy. And it's hard, it's so hard to date a woman here that has their standards set so high or they're looking at you because of looks. You can go to the Philippines and date a woman and the woman will love you and care for you just because of your heart and how you are. It does not matter. It does not matter in the Philippines what you look like. To some women over there, maybe. Some are looking at looks, but for the most part, women do not care what you look like. Only if you're a good man and you're taking care of them, just like women here want you to take care of them, okay? You're taking care of your woman, she's going to take care of you, and everything's going to be happy and dandy. Guarantee that. Now, I'm not saying every relationship is going to last forever or is going to last long. It's the same here, you know, but you will break up with a woman very quickly here, a lot more frequent here in the United States than what you would in the United States, okay? And if you're that type of guy that likes to sneak around and cheat and every now and then try to dip out or whatever, and you have a Filipino woman, trust me, she's going to find out and it's probably going to be the last thing, <laughs> last thing you wrote. <laughs> and, um, but you don't want to do that, okay? You got to get yourself, you got to knock yourself in the head, get yourself together and be an honest guy. And when you're with that one woman, you better be with her and nobody else because a lot of women over there are very good women, 
okay? I mean, my wife is. That's, that's why I'm married, okay? But anyway, and some of you guys, if you don't know, I met my woman and my wife. Why did I say woman? I met my wife um, 2009, and we, uh, we got married 2011, and we've been together ever since, okay? And we've been back to the Philippines every year we go back, okay? But that's it, guys. That's all I'm going to say. Um, leave a comment and um, among um, among 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 God to my Filipino people, um, my Halkita to my Filipino people, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.